Hello dear friends, welcome to my channel. Today's discussion is Clean Gordon Field. Okay, quantum field theorem. So we will discuss interpretations of the Clean Gordon field and Bose Einstein statistics. Okay. So we have been talking about KGF means Clean Gordon field for a while now. We have mentioned that it is its excitations that it ends up producing particles, but we have not really gone into the details. Okay, so here I have written down some expression. Okay. Okay, so Here I have written down some of the expression that we have derived, okay. We have derived and we will now use to understand what the KGF describes. So the first expression here is simply an expression for the momentum that we found from energy momentum tensors. These equations we get from energy momentum tensors tensors that we derived using the theorem theorem you using the theorem no either theorem okay using no either theorem it it, it, it it would be derived okay so i will derive this equation in my in my next video okay at first i want to know that how many people interest to watch my video or uh, how many people people watch my video properly okay those who, uh, of course i will solve i will show this these equations also and you will check my clean gordon field 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 in quantum field theorem video where i mentioned mentioned no either theorem okay this theory i will i will derive in my next video but now you have to know this this theory which is very helpful for understanding this content okay this video this content content now now we phi x and capital pi x we are going to use use them now to find this momentum expression this is momentum momentum expression okay momentum expression and why because well the momentum operator when we let it act on the vacuum is going to give us going to give us the particle that we want so that why we are interested in finding it so that we can let it out on the vacuum okay vacuum so let's just plug this into our expression this this is i have to plug this plug this expression and why because well that momentum operator when we let it act on the vacuum is going to give us the particle that we want so that's why we are interested in finding it we can let it out the vacuum so so pi means energy momentum tensors okay yeah 
this portion p superscript i is equal to minus i divided by root over 2 2 root over 2 okay and i is also minus yeah d cube d cube x from the above impression expression okay d cube x okay let's change the font size okay okay well d cube x and also integration d cube p divided by 2 pi whole cube and root over omega p and a p and minus a minus p dagger over it dagger okay dagger dagger e to the power i p x then we plug is not phi but rather its space derivatives this is space derivative space derivative this is space derivatives space derivatives and so the space derivatives but the only things that depends on x here is the exponents so the derivative is ip here here p of course a vector okay p is p is vector of course a vector right because this is basically three equations in one that's that why it still got that vector form only we have to multiply it by ip the p will remain inside inside of the integral of course but we can take i outside outside okay outside and which will give us a factor of minus one okay minus one right when multiplied with the other one then we have this one over square so we can write this expression this way p i i and minus 1 by root over 2 d cube x d cube pi means space divided by 2 pi cube okay okay 2 pi d cube divided by 2 pi okay 2 pi whole to the power 6 Okay, let's move. This is not this way. It is better that I will write this way. This way I can write. So multiplying 2 pi whole to the power 6. Okay, in this given expression and a p minus a dagger minus p a dagger minus p e to the power i not minus p plus p e to the power i i p dash x okay and just simple calculations okay just simple calculation
okay then i can write 1 by root over 2 omega p p and i is multiply okay minus i is okay i is multiplied and it will be for p dash x okay so this expression can be written in this way that is 1 by root over 2 okay 1 by root over 2 d cube x means space divided by divided by 2 pi whole cube okay so d cube p d cube p divided by 2 pi whole to the power 6 into into d cube p and this portion and this portion cut omega root over omega p so no in, in included in here so i get a plus plus a dagger minus p a dagger minus p into a p dash plus a dagger minus p dash okay into i into p plus p dash x okay so this way i can write now space divided by 2 pi cube then you also have the exponent something and sometimes you even have the exponent e to the power e to the zero which is basically one and it does not even show up on well, that's where that's where you get okay you get the definitions of the Dirac delta functions what is the Dirac delta functions okay is the space space divided by 2 pi whole cube space divided by 2 pi whole cube e to the power i p plus p dash x a equal to del cube into p plus p dash okay p plus p dash and now that implies p equals to minus p dash okay that implies p equals to so Dirac delta of 0 definitions of the Dirac delta of 0 so p is equal to p dash now we plug okay in here also multiply p dash okay p dash is multiplier p dash is multiply one is p dash is multiplications multiply okay now again we discuss p equal to minus p dash and momentum expressions next next is p i equal to minus half okay minus half into d cube p d cube p p divided by 2 pi whole cube okay and into d cube p del p plus p, p dash and a p minus a dagger p minus dagger p so we get the value is okay so we get the p dash is equal to minus half okay 
so now we plug we plug p is equal to minus p dash so we get minus half integration dq p divided by 2 pi whole cube yeah here is some a p dash plus a dagger minus p yeah this is the p dash yeah so a p minus a minus p dagger into minus p into a minus p plus plus a dagger p okay so just plugging p equal to minus p dash yeah again so we get the value is half minus into minus half and integration dqp divided by 2 pi whole cube okay and p is same p i can write and i just multiply a plus a p a plus dagger p minus a a minus p dagger a minus p and minus a dagger minus p a dagger minus p okay so this is my total multiplications now again i whatever i i want to do i want to do that just keep it i just i can write this way that half into dq p divided by 2 pi whole cube p into just arrangement a p a minus p minus a plus minus p a plus p okay dagger p dagger p this way and if i can write this way so another way is plus i can write plus okay p into a p a plus minus p minus p minus a minus p dagger and a minus p is the this way i can write okay no problem no issues yeah both are plus now what can can i want to say that if p let's go let's move if p is equal to minus if p okay if minus p in this case that suppose if minus p yeah i look this portion okay this portion my target is this portion okay so f minus p is equal to minus p a plus p a p minus a dagger p a minus p plus yeah both are dagger using daggering so now we can write p a p a p and a dagger minus p a dagger p that makes is equal to make you minus fp now in the commutative sense 
that commutator so a p and a p is equal to a dagger p and a dagger minus p equals to zero okay as a commutators so a minus p okay it is the minus yeah a minus p is equal to a p is equal to a p okay now now using this theory using this theory so the integral is the integral this integral is zero okay this integral portion is zero so my p dash okay my results will come that p dash equals to i got finally dqp divided by 2 pi whole cube a plus p a minus p plus a p okay so this portion will this portion will not cut okay so this portion will keep keep i keep these portions okay so exact actually we dealt with a very similar case in the past so what we will do in simply multiply through we are going to do only the second part of the integral right there are basically two different integrals so you can change one independently of the other we we are going to say let p go to minus and p is very common trick then we are using like literally uh, literally all the time okay so this is the main facts there's only one term p tends to minus p okay and we are usually using like literally all the time so because again integrating over all the space it does not matter which order we are doing it so we can just change the minor p p as does not matter so so friends we can write this way how to dqp divided by 2 pi whole cube okay p and a p a plus p a plus p so i just change in here minus so whatever i get okay it is the minus p in eating so it is the plus and a p plus and a p okay so just changing p yeah in here i just i changing the order and minus and minus will be, be plus okay next next is that commutators how much uh, i will write that a p and a plus p you have to remember a plus means a dagger okay minus a dagger p a p can be written as a p a p dagger is equal to 2 pi whole cube into del cube divided by 0 minus p this is very common trick okay so because again integrating over all space it does not matter which order we are doing so we can just change to minus minus it does not matter so okay so i just change my ma, ma, minus it does not matter so minus is plus okay 
so so we know this is the commutator so our equations can be written this way again i use some technique in here half into dqp i whole cube p into ap a dagger p and a dagger p ap minus a dagger p ap and plus a dagger p ap okay no problem just adjusting and now it can be written as it is the pi yeah. so half into dq so this portion can be written as plus ap and a dagger p dagger p plus 2 into ap a plus p ap okay this two, two position is uh, and this is the commute charger okay so this way i can write okay now we can write this way half into dqp divided by whole cube p and these positions i can write this way okay and it can be written as 2 pi whole cube del cube 0 okay this value this is means one appears constant and only because we have a lot of ambiguity in the way okay lot of ambiguity in the way in which we have defined our product of operators okay so we got the energy momentum tensor is momentum operators is this way dqp divided by 2 pi whole cube p into a dagger p ap this is the momentum operator okay we get momentum momentum operator okay next what is the physical meaning physical meaning of the states okay physical physical meaning meaning of states let's start our physical minutes okay. so these statistics here so we are going to do here is just keep in mind we will have some state that will be level which will arise as the creator this is the which this this is the which will arise as a creation operator okay this is the creation operator this is the creation operator operator acting on the vacuum okay now the the state p p how many particles does it have right if you use the number operators okay acting on vacuum this is the vacuum okay acting on the vacuum so so this is the n into p equals to p okay number operator n is the So we know number operator, number operator n equals to equals to a dagger, a dagger a 
if we let this operator act on the state okay act on the this operator act on the on the state state we will imply get one times state so there's only only one particle here now what is the energy of the state of course hamiltonian act on state that simply simply going to be some some energy okay hamiltonian act on act on some energy energy act on p okay so this is the so its momentum will come from the momentum operator acting on the state which will be p so which will be p momentum acting on the state which will be p okay so now we can write this way that h square h square minus p square act on act on p okay state act on p can be written as e square p minus p p so it can be written m square acts on p okay so acting h square minus p square acting on p this is called this equation is called kg equation clean golden gordon equation kg equations this equations is called kg equations okay so if we have if we have have multiple particles states for example if we have a state where we have n1 particles with momentum p1 n1 particles momentum p1 n2 particles with momentum momentum p2 n3 particles with momentum p3 and so on on here is that the particle cell that we are describing using the kgf theory obey what we call bose einstein theory bose einstein theory not bose einstein einstein statistics okay that is bose einstein stein statistics statistics this particle are interchangeable a lot of them in the same state you cannot distinguish which one from the other that is very very important okay so i hope everyone knows this property bose einstein statistics okay so bose einstein statistics is the statistics of a system where you cannot tell the difference between any of the particles and the particles are bosons bosons are the fundamental particles like the photon in epsilon is the number of particles which have energy epsilon okay the, it is the statistical me mechanics also used in qm okay so and bose einstein distribution tells you how many particles have a certain energy okay so i use i can use this in the, the, the this use use bose einstein statistics for in here okay when we, we when we we have multiple particles okay this is the single particles this this is used for which you this this is the used for single particles this is used for single particles but when i use when multiple particle multiple particle then use bose einstein statistics for multiple particle okay okay so i think that everyone know knows but i just introduce the formula because it is the important that n epsilon n epsilon 
n epsilon this is a formula go sign side distributions mission tells you how many particles have a certain energy this formula is n epsilon is equal to 1 by e to the power e to the power epsilon mu epsilon minus mu divided by kt okay with epsilon greater than mu where n epsilon is the number of particles which have energy epsilon okay and k is Boltzmann constant and t is the temperature and epsilon is the energy okay so this is very very important when the multiple multiple gases okay multiple particles okay so now we will tell that we decided what normalizations okay so this particle are interchangeable a lot of them in the same interchangeable this particle are interchangeable you, you have to remember the particle are inter change able okay particle okay now we discuss that a lot of them in the same state you cannot distinguish one one from the other that's very very important we decided what is the what the normalizations of the vacuum okay what is the normalization normalization of vacuum vacuum is going to be the right we will choose the normalizations that the inner product of the vacuum itself is going to be one and two states p and q suppose two state p and q is equal to 2 pi whole q del q into p minus q okay p minus q this normalizations actually not be Lorentz invariant it is not Lorentz invariant okay this is not knowledge in, invariant so we can write this way we can write this way that p divided by q bar is equal to can be written as 2 ep okay and and 2 pi whole q into del q into p minus q okay so this is can this can be so as we take how because this is the value is del cube into p minus q okay so take p we are going to choose that the expression p right the state p is going to be a square root of of square root of 2 into ep ep times the creations operators that are acting on the vacuum so be different from what we discussed previously when we are just talking about the statistics of the system using the expression we can now write this inner product of 2 ep times let's talk about the interpretations of our field acting on the vacuum so field acting on the vacuum this is the interpretation so field phi x acting this is the vacuum okay acting vacuum so interpretations of phi x in, into vacuum where phi x i can write phi x is equal to d cube p divided by 2 pi whole cube root over 2 w p into a p plus a dagger p e to the power e to the power i p x okay so if this is this is the this expression meanings 
field acting on vacuum. Field acting on vacuum. Okay. So field acting on vacuum. Annihilations operators. Okay. Now the questions will go. Annihilations operators acting on vacuum will give us zero. So this portion annihilations operator acting on zero. So this portion will will remain. Yeah. So we can write that high x zero can be written as d q p divided by two pi whole cube into hard into zero okay this is the this way so create a particle acts on p tends to in in here p tends to tends to minus p minus p so this is means uh, what is the mean p tends to minus p okay this is the what is the mean phi x tends to mean means this is the creates okay at position x so it is a position x okay so creates particle act position on x so it can be written again i can it can be written this way that d cube d cube p divided by 2 pi whole cube into 1 by root over 2 into ep and e to the power e to the power i minus ipx okay i can write ipx Px a dagger a dagger plus p okay plus p means it is the very simple just can write and the vacuum vacuum okay zero this point we just make our this point this point we just make our normal so I just change now I can write root over 2 e p a dagger p 0 can be written at p and a plus p vacuum vacuum a dagger p act on vacuum can be written state p divided by square root of 2 ep now now I can write that phi x okay acting on the vacuum can be written as d cube p divided by 2 pi whole cube 1 by 2 e p e to the power i p lambda k p So E p is the energy of particle E p equals to energy G of and these equations can be said that linear linear superpositions of single particle states linear super position position of single particle particle state okay and particle states so so the space x of state k x is the non relativistic qm so friends i hope that i can clear this total con total total concept and now I think that this is very very interesting interesting topic so it is the okay now I want to show the total change my size okay
this way so hope you can you can see my all work yeah and i explain everything thanks for watching and i will derive these equations very soon these equations i will derive very soon